There's a question I've been wanting to ask you since we started, and I thought about coming in here, and I've been thinking about in the weeks ahead of this, and I'm going to just come clean and say I don't exactly know how to ask the question. Just ask it. So it's about relationships. Oh, do it, man. So I know in myself Mm -hmm. that my discipline is much higher when it's just me, but that's because I had – Certain things early on, but then I had I was a terrible student, barely finished high school. But then when I got serious, I got serious. But I did that by staying away from everybody. And anyone who's ever had a relationship of any kind, but in particular romantic relationships, knows that, yes, you can derive tremendous support from those. Like, you got this, baby. You can go in. You're like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> she said, I got this. You right, know, It right. feels great to finish something and share with someone. Share a meal, you know, get the hug. But there's another side to all of that right? that I'd like to learn more about from you, which is there's a warm body next to you mm-hmm. in bed in the morning. You don't want to get up. Mm-hmm. They also have needs. You've got your mission. They're, people sometimes need things from us. Right. But also, oftentimes the people that love us most, that truly love us and that want to support us, don't understand this thing. Mm-hmm. And... They're the first people to tell us, like, listen, take a day off. And then this whole cycle, at least in my head, goes off, like, you just want a vacation. And then it's almost like a paranoia. I'm not saying anything nice about myself right now. Right. Oh, good, man. Former girlfriends are going to be like, yeah. Like, you know, that they remember. They so, and, and so support of people close to you is critical. Mm-hmm. This could be friends, could be romantic partners, whatever. But they're also the... The knife cuts both ways. Yep. It can be the thing that can really undermine this thing that you're talking about mm-hmm. because the people that care about us also want to see us comfortable. Right. They want to see us happy. They want to see us peaceful. They want to see us in a, wake up from a great night's sleep, and they want things too. Right. So how do you untangle that whole bit? Well, it's funny, man. I'm, I'm unbalanced, but I'm mostly unbalanced towards the family side. People don't get about me. I start being unbalanced. I get all my stuff in. But what I do is I make sure that my family has everything they need. Everything they need. Those who want to be part of my family. Some don't. Some family members don't want to be part of David Goggins. I get it. I got it. That's life. Those who are part of my family, I give them everything they need so they can leave me the fuck alone. I make sure you're happy as fuck because I got to go to work. And I don't mean smoke jumping. I don't mean running. I mean all of it. It takes every, I can't have you in my fucking shit. Can't. So I know for me to have a family, I got to make sure that you realize I'm going to give you everything you need. So when you start bitching at me, I'm going to say, look, hang on. I dedicated my life to give you everything you need. I need this time right here. For me to be the best I can be because this journey started without anybody. And I make sure everybody knows that who comes in my life. I've been left, think about it. I was left alone at a, long, at, at, a, at a young age to figure this shit out. I figured it out for myself and it's been very successful for myself. No one's gonna come in here and fuck with my shit. That's why I make sure I will take care of whatever you need. Whatever you need from me, you got it. Money, house, my love, my support, I'm gonna give you everything you need. That said, I do it the highest level possible. And I'm saying it with Jennifer in the next room. So please come here and say something. If it's wrong, Jennifer, I don't give a fuck. Say what you got to say. So then when it's time for me to go to work, I expect you to do the same for me. Because it takes every bit of me to do what I have to do. So I make sure that I'm very unbalanced for my family so I can be exactly that unbalanced for myself. And that's how I do it. I let people know right up front, I'm not what you want in a man. I guarantee that. There's going to be a lot of late nights, a lot of early mornings, a lot of times where I got to be by myself thinking about the process that is next in my mind. I can't have aggravation. I can't have this, can't have that. There's a lot of things, but I let them know up front. I'm very vocal about that. Sometimes relationships work for me. Sometimes they didn't. But that's who I am. One thing I did wrong in my life was I tried for so many years to please people. And I did it at the expense of myself. I was leaving a lot in the tank. And and when you do that, you stop living. 
But the person in your life is happy as fuck because you're giving them everything they want. They have their, their, their life is full, but you feel empty. And that's not a relationship to me. So for me, it's important that you know exactly who I am because this is what life made. And I'm not trying to change it because I just figured it out. So I'm not trying to compromise David Goggins. I would never, ever compromise David Goggins. That doesn't mean I won't give you what you need and what you want and what you desire. But I don't need money. I don't need fame. I don't need shit. So I give it all away. What I do need is to make sure that that willpower is worked on every fucking day and every night for the rest of my life. Because that's the one thing that's going to keep me feeding you, keeping you where you need to be. Because once that willpower is gone, 300 pound David Goggins, he may not be look like it, but I will walk around with it. So the things that are important to you in life, you must do always or you're nobody. And that's how I handle relationships. Amen to that. Something I could personally work on is that upfront, clear communication. Because I, I, it resonates that feeling of like there's something inside that's not getting worked out that I was, when I'm on my own, mm -hmm. it's, 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 a, it's a lot easier. But then of course, wanting relationships and family, I think that's a healthy part of being human too. Very. And obviously you've worked it out. So I appreciate you sharing mm -hmm. that. I don't think I've ever heard you talk about no, it that way before. People are scared of that, man. People are scared of that conversation with their wife, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend. And, but why are you scared of it? Why are you scared to tell a motherfucker, your wife, your husband, who you are? Who you are, exactly who you are. And that was the problem I had. That's a problem that a lot of us have in life. No one knows who you really are. No one knew who I really was. I went to a school where there were a lot of black kids. A lot of black kids didn't want to be in special ops. I never talked about special ops with black kids. Why? I was wondering what, yeah, I'm not going to fit in. That's not what they do. A lot of black kids don't do that kind of shit. So I, whatever I wanted to do, no one really knew the real me growing up because I never want anybody to know the real me. I was always afraid of what you might say or how you're going to feel or whatever. You got feelings. You have a life that you have to live. So it's important that whatever's on your mind, you let that person know. Therefore, you're giving them the option to be with you or not. This is who I am. If you don't like it, that's good, man. I, I got it. But this is David Goggins. So there's that, that honest conversation is very important, man. So everybody knows where they stand. That person may not be for you. And that's all good.